Hello, Ran here, aka Mac, and welcome. So next up in the atmospheric flight test series, we have something a little different, something a little larger. Now, instead of the usual fighter sizes, I thought it would be interesting to see how a ship the size of a caterpillar handles in atmosphere. Now, the caterpillar is a multi-role vessel capable of hauling cargo, or as it says on the ship stats page, being fitted for combat support. Currently, we only really haul cargo with the Caterpillar as there's no other option for swapping out its bays, but let's take a look at how it performs planetside. As always, a massive thank you to my patrons. If you like my videos, guys, and want to support this channel further, do check the Patreon link below. So the sound for the Caterpillar have been improved slightly. Uh, the startup sound, as you would expect, is hefty. It's got a bassy whirring sound as it begins to turn over. Your systems are online. Engines online. Weapons online. Warning, you are blocking an active flight bay. Please vacate the vicinity. Landing gear up. In flight, they have a deep sort of droning sound to them as well, which really feels like they're powering the ship along. Now, it doesn't really sound that unique to the ship, nor does the afterburner. I would think more sounds will be updated as they uh, add more components and whatnot and just bring the ship to life, especially with its wear and tear functionality coming later in this year. Now, the Caterpillar is one of the largest ships we have available to fly in the game. Its shape really doesn't assist in atmosphere. It is practically a large, long brick. Something else which is not helping is its asymmetrical design. Now, the first thing you will notice when flying the Caterpillar in atmosphere is the sheer lack of speed available to you. It barely keeps 100 meters a second when not after burning. When you do, the speed increases to just about 140 meters a second, but immediately overheats and slows down again. Again, that could change with the heating system being tweaked. Rolling is slow, but for a ship this size, at the speed you're gonna be traveling at, yawing is probably your best option for taking turns. Something to bear in mind when flying a ship of this size is that there's likely gonna be other crew on board. It's not something you need to worry about in fighters, but if you are trying to take corners quickly, you will likely injure the other crew as the Gs hit them. It may give you a very slight increase in turning speed if you roll and then pitch to turn, but I wouldn't really think it gives you enough to warrant such an aggressive turn. Flying the Caterpillar in combat situations is not really a good idea when in atmosphere, but working together and utilizing the turrets may help deter attackers. Escaping through speed is highly unlikely. Uh, the Caterpillar will definitely be a, a joy to fly and learning running those long haul cargo runs from planet to planet, but do not expect to escape atmosphere very quick. When more facets to the flight model make it in, it will likely require a lot more skill to get such a large ship off the ground. With that said though, it does feel more nimble than I, I would have expected it to. Whether that's gonna change, I, I would think so. I also think taking off will require using its four main thrusters more uh, and getting momentum going before pointing the nose up. Going straight up might not be an option as it doesn't have VTOL thrusters, but I think the, the takeoff is, and the landing is gonna be something you need to work on, as well as recognizing the amount of Gs, uh, especially if you're loading your Caterpillar up with a lot of cargo, the mass could really increase it and make it even harder to take off. Now it is quite realistic for a ship this size to travel this slow. It does feel very heavy and maneuvers with long drawn out turns. I am interested to see how its detachable command module will perform when separated. I own the ship and I love it to bits. It may not go quick, but it is gonna look phenomenal if you are watching it fly past. With 3.6 uh, and future updates coming to the flight model, we will see this change and, re and revisit the Caterpillar and just see how it flies after the, the new features are in. Do let me know what your thoughts are on the Caterpillar. Also, tell me what ships you wanna see next in the atmospheric flight tests. Be sure to follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan. Hit that subscribe button and tick that notification bell so you know when my videos go live. I've also got a new tutorial series coming with the release of 3.5 or close behind it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time.